Power is still out in several areas here at home following the large Northern California winter storm that caused outages to nearly 490,000 PG&E customers. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum visited Sterling City where power has been out most of the week. As you can see all around me, Sterling City got a lot of snow during this winter storm, but even during the cold temperatures and with power being on and off since Monday, people living here are staying positive and making the most of it. I grew up in a time where you may do. You didn't have uh, conveniences. And um, so I did not have any kind of panic at all. This 80 year old Sterling City resident used to live in paradise, but had to move after the campfire burnt down her storage shelter. She now lives right here and tells me that the conditions may not be ideal, but the community support that she's received has helped her through it all. I I am so thankful and have been so blessed to have good neighbors and family near that I felt so safe even through all the snow and uh, the inconvenience of losing the power. She tells me she has even been able to stay warm during this outage. I uh, running my stovetop. <laughs> my uh, Relatives have brought generator, a generator over here to, uh, to me and set it up and um, given power. And I really am so appreciative to my neighbors. I, I just don't know them very well, but I'm getting to know them. Most of the city and surrounding areas are still without power, but people living here tell me they are hopeful that power will be back on as soon as tonight. Reporting in Sterling City, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. And Action News Now reached out to pg &E twice today to get a reason why power hasn't been restored for everyone. We have yet to hear back.